guys, it's me, Brandy, and I just wanted to swatch some, uh, an indie brand uh, eyeshadows for you guys. And I also have um, a couple of other items. So I've got these Propa Beauty lipsticks, and these are black owned uh, cosmetics companies. So I have these items that I'm going to go ahead and swatch for you. So I've got a couple of different things. I have some Uoma Beauty. Um, I have this palette. This is the Savage palette. So I got this when they had a really good sale. Um, this is what the color store looks like. It is beautiful. So I'm gonna swatch that for you guys. And then I got um, this sculpting stick. It's a double take sculpting stick and I got it in Honey Honey. And I also have this boss gloss from Uoma Beauty. Now I bought these a while ago and I've had a lot a lot, a lot of stuff going on and I just haven't been able to do the video on it, but. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this off and uh, give me one moment. So I also have um, these from Propa Beauty and I have worn these in videos before, um, be but I haven't actually showcased them at all. Um, I only picked up three from them, and again, I got these, I want to say, a couple of months ago. I ordered them, I want to say back in June. And I've had them for a while, but I haven't been able to do a video where I showcased them. And I've been wanting to do a uh, video where it was just all black on beauty products that I am trying. So this is what um, the lipstick looks like. And it's this color is one of them and this is closer and I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this they smell really really good so this is closer and then I've got this one is driven it's a much darker brown and these are all nude colors So that one is Driven. And then the last one that I've got is this one and it's Her Magic. And this is like a red brick, red based brown. So that is what that one looks like. Really, really beautiful. So, um, Anyhow, so these lipsticks, they are not matte and they don't dry down or anything like that, but they are really, really um, ex ex emollient on the lips. They're just beautiful. So now they have pretty good range of colors on this double take. So this is the highlight side and this is the contour side. Now the contour is just a little too orange for me. I mean, it was on the day that I used it. Maybe it's not too bad. But yeah, look at that highlight, it's beautiful. Maybe I'll try using it again, maybe in a video coming up here pretty soon, just so I can make sure that it's my color. I'm not disappointed in it, I can make it work. It just almost kind of looks like a bronzer more than a contour for me. And I really like more gray based contours, um, like a brownie gray color. So that's what is going on there. And then this is the glop. Ooh, ooh. I'm dropping stuff. I'm back. <laughs> okay, so this is the, ooh, and that smells Vanilla E. This is a beautiful color. Look at that. That's gonna be. 
That's gonna be pretty. I really like that color. Okay, so there's that one. And then I'm going to swatch out this Black Magic for you. Uh, not Black Magic, the Savage palette. So this is the first color, is Black Magic. I'll do that right here. Look at that. And next we have Fierce. That's gorgeous too. These are pretty, these are pretty glittery shadows. Next I have She Tore. Get that red. Ooh, that's pretty. And next we have Savage. Silver is gorgeous. I don't think I've ever seen a silver shadow that should that glittery. And we have this matte is storm. This is gonna make a really pretty eye look. And I have another one that's called Black Y'all. That's not very hmm. so I mean I don't know if you know black shadows, but if you do, you don't really want a black that is too super pigmented, but you do want it to be buildable because if it's a buildable shadow, then um, you can build the color up. So this one is Foxy. And then next we have Warrior, which is like a maroony red color. And then last we have Oya, oh yeah, which is like a pinkish red. I'm gonna have to use these in an actual video. But this is that, those shimmers though, look how pretty they are. That silver, I can't get over how blinding it is. And I am gonna swatch some JD Glow um, shadows for you. So JD Glow is a brand that I have liked for a while and I've been lusting after them and I've wanted to purchase from them and uh, hadn't been able to. So um, I ordered a while back. Again, none of this is actually brand new, like I just got it. So. I've got some Galaxy Collection shadow. This is Peachy Keen, and I don't know if you're gonna see that shift. It's like a peach with an orange shift. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at that. This one is called Sin, and then they are super duper shiny. And this is this is a galaxy one as well. Look at that! And then next we have AKA, which is. This pink with like a silver kind of shift. Just like that. 
Ooh, that one's like butter. All right, now I have berry acid. That is so pretty. This is like a silvery green. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, look at that. All right, and then this is a Metallian shadow and this is called Varsity. And this is like a blue metallic looking shadow. And these Metallian shadows are like extremely shiny. Like I would say the Galaxy shadows are more glittery not a ton, but, and the Metallian shadows are like just plain glit, or just shimmer. And this is Martini, and this is a shimmer shadow. And that's what that looks like. You can just kind of see like the level of shimmer. It goes like good, and then oh my god, and then decent. And then this is Prismatic. I actually wanted to get this one forever. And it was out of stock for a very long time. And the reason why I wanted to get this was because of Amy Loves Makeup. She was talking about this shadow and just how freaking amazing it is. Look at that, oh my goodness. And we have Bora Bora, which is another galaxy shadow. Oh, I should probably show it to you. So it's like blue, teal, green, kind of. So look at that. My goodness gracious. Look at that. Mm, so pretty. And then we have this one called Anomaly, and this is blue with purple shift. A little bit of teal in there. So pretty. That. I will swatch that one. Oh, that one is like absolute butter. So this is what they look like. These are the ones that I've had for a little while. I wanted to swatch them, but I haven't had time. So there you go. Uh, that is not all of the black owned, black owned beauty brands that I own. That's just a small portion um, that I've got here. Uh, I also have Juvia's Place. I have um, Copacetic Cosmetics. I have So many different ones that I couldn't even begin to start to tell you what I have. I mean, you guys have seen my my uh, palette video of all my palettes. So yeah, that is my uh, just a few of the newer stuff that I've gotten that I haven't been able to swatch for you guys yet. So uh, please, I hope you have a great night and uh, do me a favor and like this video down below. And then also, if you get a chance. Um, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, of course, and then head on over to Instagram and check me out. I've got a lot of looks that I do with all of these palettes um, over there. So thank you so much and have a wonderful day and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.